Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Minneapolis, I mean, we are in Minnesota. Frost Lake, that is. Yep, uh, let's get her in gear and we're already done our pre trip inspection, so we are good to go. And let's try and have ourselves a great day again today. Alrighty, guys, we it's are just cruising along. North Section Avenue, US 63. All right, RJ, we are having ourselves a fantastic day. I just figure these uh, little towns up here, they look pretty good. Forget I would show you guys a little bit of the green stuff. I was trying to film some of these uh, radish trees up here, but I don't know if they're going to come onto the camera or not. Give it a shot anyways. Continue on this road for 86 miles. A little bit miles. of reddish trees right here. But the other one, they look more lighter into the pink. And yeah, well. Anyways, we are having ourselves a fantastic day. We're just cruising along and going through small little towns everywhere. That's always interesting. I mean, I've gone through here before, but most of you viewers have never gone through here, so why not show it, right? Alrighty, guys, I just had lunch over here at the Pilot and Elk Run Height, it's called. And have a look at that. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so we're just walking through the truck stop up here and having some fun. Alrighty guys, we are just fixing to leave the pilot up here. And right across the street here we got a uh, Freightliner dealer up here. Looks like they got some pretty good looking Freightliners in there. Must be the new style or something. Yep. Anyways, this is an elk country apparently up here. Half mile. Take the entrance and to they the had all kinds of elks up here. And 20 east I had a big head south. up there and then the truck stopped, so I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't even see that last time I was here. I've been here one time before at that pilot. I didn't even see that. So when I saw that, I just had to film it. Yep. Oh ah, well. We've been having some drizzle and rain pretty much all day long. No, it's finally cleared off, but still looks like it could be starting to rain here pretty soon again. We'll see. There we go. I need a light changed. Yep. We got a flying jet to the right up here too, and uh, I don't go to that one anymore. I, I've been there once or twice and cut my finger basically. Wanted to go in there and grab me a bite to eat, and there's not even a restaurant in there. Just a little store where you can just buy pizza or whatever. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really. The entrance to the left on I 380 South US 20 East I 27 South. I don't really like to go out there and just buy uh, 
pizza or yeah, at the time I'll do that or buy me a sandwich or something like that, but I'd much rather go to a restaurant and get me a good meal. But that's just me. And to be honest with you, sometimes it's uh, almost the same price. I've gone to places where they charge you like seven, eight bucks just for a sandwich. You know, so uh, up here it cost me twelve dollars and some cents to uh, to have a meal at the restaurant that I just spent at. That's not bad. Yeah, well, that's the way it is. Let's put the hammer down and get some more miles behind us. Why don't you just tell me how you feel? And honey, we can move that speculation. Fall between these empty spaces Why don't we decide To make things happen It would be so easy To turn this into love I believe it's time To make things happen It would be so easy To turn this into love So tell me pushing it a little bit for, for my company anyways. For some of you it might be nothing, but for me it's uh, it's right on the 
right on the limit where I can't do more than that in the United States. But that's the way it is, that's the part of trucking where we have to follow the law. And uh, I do, I do not go over my hours. I, at least I will try my 100% best not to do that. Well, there has been cases where there just ain't nothing you can do about it, but in normal circumstances, I will try to stop early enough to where I know there's a truck stop and I will just pull over and be done with it. But I have had one case one time in Ontario where it was in the middle of nowhere there on uh, Highway 17. And it was already, I think, around 8 or 9 at night, and it was winter time. And a flatbed had jackknifed across the highway. And it was a couple of hours away from where the tool truck was. And I could get to the next town before an accident happened, but then that accident happened, and uh, everything went out of the basket. Couldn't stay on the road, you know, after they opened the road, you gotta leave. And and just pull over to the side, especially in winter time, it's even worse. Narrow roads like we have in Ontario. That was just one of the cases. But anyways, I got an important caller coming in here, Mr. Jukebox. So we will take this call and we shall be right back. Well, guys, our day is officially over again. We didn't quite make it uh, up to our delivery place, but I made it a about an hour away from our delivery place and so I'm sort of between uh, St. Louis, Missouri and uh, my delivery place by Jackson, Missouri so uh, we're at the Loves here on I-55 and we are calling it our day we already have a reload as I told you guys earlier and uh, so tomorrow we'll go deliver our load and uh, Hopefully we can pick up our reload tomorrow, so, yeah, I don't have anything else, so, uh, hope to see you guys again tomorrow at uh, 2 a.m. Central Standard Time, and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I have recently added a subscribe button right there in the corner, uh, all the way at the end of the video, and so that way it should be easier for you to subscribe, and hey, if you like the video, please share it somebody else might also like it and uh, hey tell your friends about my channel you know we've got to the end of this video hey be sure to check out some of my social media sites and I got the links right down there below in the description box hey I got the subscribe button right there in the corner it's nice and big for you guys to check it out hey check out some of these cool videos right here have a good one catch you on the next one